Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we can calculate the straw hall number from an ANSYS simulation. Okay, in this case, I have a flow over a cylinder case where there is vortex shedding happening at Reynolds number 10,000. So this case, the cylinder is a 2D and the diameter is uh, about 1 meters and the flow is 10,000 Reynolds number. So this case uh, has already been run and we have the data. So this is the final uh, velocity profile which we have obtained while the vortex shedding is happening. So the time step used was 0 0.15 and uh, many flow time has been run already. So but it is still not sufficient actually. But uh, for demonstration purpose, this is okay. Okay, then. so we have the velocity profile here. And as you can see, the vortex shedding is happening. So we are going to calculate the straw hall number based on the velocity number. So what is the straw hall number? So straw hall number uh, said by ST is equal to FL by capital U, where F is the frequency of vortex shedding, L is the characteristic length, and U is the flow velocity. In this case, uh, the length characteristic length is constant, which is one meter in my case. So if you are using a different diameter, then change it accordingly and uh, u is the flow velocity in my case it is about 0 0.14776 meters per second for this reynolds number of 10000 which i am using so the only variable here is the frequency so this frequency can be obtained by a thing called fast fourier transform based on the simulation which we have done so what is this frequency this frequency is the frequency of vortex shedding which is happening as we can see in the velocity profile there is a vortex shedding happening here and uh, after some time this vortex shedding will become constant so what i mean by constant is that so once we see the velocity plot which i have already created for about uh, 6000 flow sec time so it has been run till 600 seconds as you can see in the initial times the lift force was almost zero it is negligible completely but after time propagates this uh, flow velocity ca causes the lift force to generate in, in an oscillating manner. So as you can see, it goes from positive to negative values and it is oscillating. And after some time, in this case, it is around 550 seconds, the oscillation becomes constant. So even if I run it till 1000, this oscillation will be constant. So this is the uh, frequency of the vortex shedding. So lift is generally used for this case but if you want you can also use fluctuating components of the velocity called as the u prime v prime which can be calculated by the formula x velocity minus uh, mean x velocity multiplied by y velocity minus uh, mean y velocity so which can be created through parameters and customization with user defined functions but we are just using lift force here if you want to do, you can also do the uh, lift coefficient CL to calculate this, but I prefer doing it this way. So whichever is comfortable for you, you can do that. To create this, I have already created the report files. In the report definitions, I have created a lift force parameter for this cylinder and I have also saved it as a file. So that file is what we are going to use for uh, this calculation. So for calculation, you have to go to the results tab and I am saying all this only after you have run the case. So once it is completed, you can do this process. But make sure that in the beginning itself, you have created the report file to be saved so that it is uh, possible for you to do this. OK, the file is generated as the time goes on. OK, this uh, fast Fourier transform is available inside answers itself. In the results tab, you can go here and uh, open fft here you have to give load input file so if you click load input file it will take you to the place where all the report files are saved in this case we are going to use lift r file dot out since i have given the lift here the report plot file will be saved in a format called lift hyphen r file so uh, the format is out file it has dot out as the format so i will click on this and uh, click OK. So this will open the data inside lift R file 
from 0 to 600 seconds of load time and I will click OK. So it has loaded. Now we have to change this from power spectral density to magnitude and let this be frequency. And here you can leave it this as uh, default and click on plot FFT. You will have a plot something like this. The peak is around here, but uh, we can't see what exact value is, is for the frequency. So this is the F which we will be using here. Okay, so we want the F exact value, but we couldn't see here. So what we can do is either we can open this out file in Excel and see for what maximum magnitude we have this frequency to write the FFT file. You can click this, write FFT and give the file name and it will save. That is one method of manually finding what is the frequency or else you can also do this. Uh, you can click on this axis and set the minimum and maximum value in the X axis. So as I can see the zero is the minimum and after around 0 0.5 there is no much change. So the peak is around here. So we are interested only in this domain. So I'm going to go to axis and in the X axis I am going to deselect auto range select major rules and let the minimum be 0 and the maximum be 0 0.5 and click apply and if you want you can change the color to silver otherwise it will be very dark so just click on apply and give plot fft as you can see the range has been clipped from 0 to 0 0.5 but again if you see after 0 0.15 we do not have much change so again we can clip it so we can change this to 0 0.15, click on apply and click plot FFT. Again, if you see the value lies somewhere between 0 and uh, 0 0.06. So actually the value is between 0 0.02 and 0 0.04. So I'm just going to use it again. So it is from 0 0.02 to 0 0.04. Click apply and plot so as you can see the value is only between 0.034 and 0.036 but if we clip it to that range we will not be able to find this as a point instead it will be like a curve or it will it won't be proper so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clip between 0.03 and 0.04 so we will be having proper 10 divisions and we can see what exactly that value is as you can see here we have the peak as around 0 0.035 so this is a good approximation of the value so this is what we are going to take okay so you can remember this value it is 0 0.035 okay and to calculate the Straucher number the other two parameters are just L and U okay so to find the L and U we have the initial parameters which we have already used so we are just going to use that Okay, you can just open your calculator, give this frequency, which is 0 0.035 multiplied by the uh, characteristic length. In this case, it is one meters. And then you can divide by the velocity. In my case, it is 0 0.14776 meters per second. So I'm getting a straw hall value of about 0 0.236. Okay, now we can compare this with proper data i'll go here and we can see so whole number flow over a cylinder and you can go to the images and see this popular graph so this graph gives you the straw hall number approximate straw hall number for different reynolds number the above graph is for a smooth surface the below is for the hard surface as you can see this is for the smooth surface and this is for the rough surface in our case uh, we are not specifying it exactly but in my simulation it is around 10 power 4 which means 10,000 RE so at 10,000 RE I am achieving a Reynolds oh, sorry straw hall number of about 0 0.23 so that is what we got in the calculation so which is somewhat similar because I have also under relaxed my case so this is the methodology to calculate straw hall number if uh, you this non-dimensional number tells you at what frequency you are what shedding is happening and you can uh, judge the unsteadiness or the water shedding behavior in the flow based on this number 
okay so just in case if you want to see the velocity plot so as you can see we are getting our text shading happening here but ideally you should be uh, able to get this constant frequency for at least five or six more times but i just stopped it here for demonstration purpose and there is pressure values here so just in case so that's it for this video i hope you liked it if you need any specific video on cft please let me know in the comments if you like this video please drop a like consider subscribing to my channel see you in the next video thank you